Hey folks, quick video from Daddy Rabbit. <clears throat> I'm not in the title of the videos. Don't open carry. I think there's times when you can open carry. It's not a big deal. But I was sitting in a pizza joint, and uh, young man came in, sat down. You see where he's got his pistol. I walked up behind him, or I was to the side of him. I stole away my trash, and I thought, you know, if I wanted that pistol. If I wanted it, I could have had it. There had been nothing he could have done about it. And people seem to think, because you got a firearm on, I don't know, it may make them feel good. I don't know, maybe it does. Uh, and, uh, you know, what the hell do I know? Uh, she's cute. Because um, you got that firearm on, it don't mean jack shit to somebody that knows something about firearms. Like I say, um, he didn't have a triple retention holster. He didn't have a, a double retention holster. He just had a holster. And the type of holster that is, it's either operated with a, your finger to get the weapon out or you just pull it straight out. I couldn't tell which. But uh, I guess it made him feel good. You know, look at me, look at me. I got a gun on. I'm just going to tell you right now. If I walk into a restaurant, I walk into any place. There's somebody open carrying, and I'm I was gonna rob it. That's the first joker. I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat him. Bang. He's he's done. What did he do? He might have gave him a tenth of a second to run for the back door because they they popped him first. But he did a, he did no favors. And I sat there the whole time, and I looked at him, and. Look, he might he might be a something. I don't know. I doubt it. Does anybody knows anything about firearms? Firearms retention. Knows anything about law enforcement, security, military, whatever. Anybody that knows. <clears throat> you don't want, you don't want the average bear to see you. You want the element of surprise. And so when I see guys like that, it's kind of like. I kind of think of them like the guys with the big truck. They're trying to compensate for something. Look, there's times I've got a gun on me. Nobody knows. I mean, I, I usually I carry off body most of the time, but I still carry on body. So you're not going to see it coming. You're not going to know I got it. If I've got to use it, the only person that's going to know probably. Is me and the good Lord, because I'm going to punch somebody's ticket. I'm not pulling it out to show it. I don't want you to look at it. I don't want you to fondle it. If I got to pull it, I, I'm using deadly force. It, it's not a deterrent. All that. But I watched that young man, and he sat there, and he ate his chicken wings. And, oh, he was so proud. And I kept saying to myself, what a dumbass. What a dumbass. What a dumbass. Listen, if you want to open carry, wear it out. I personally don't care. Because I thought, if we're getting robbed, they're not going to know that I'm packing, and they're going to shoot him. And I'm going to hold up my hands and say, hey, I don't know trouble. And when they turn their back, I'll ventilate. <clears throat> don't be that guy. Look, there's times when you have to open carry. But... In the civilian world, those opportunities are very far and few between. And what I mean is you can always wear a shirt over a shirt or, you know, like I carry mine in a 5'11 bag that I throw over my back. Um, depending on where I am, what I'm doing, it might be in my waistband, but you're not going to see it. So for all these yahoos that think they want to get them... Uh, you know, a holster, and, and so, like, he tucked his shirt in. I mean, you know, you can see by the picture, uh, he wants you to see it. And for somebody that doesn't train, and 99.9999% of all people do not train, and I'll be the first to say, have I trained lately? No. Have I trained within the last year? No. Have I trained in the last two years? No. Do I train anymore? It's rare. It's rare, but 
also have common sense enough to not to be shown it to everybody. And uh, like Brick says at uh, Marksman up here at the shooting range, you got to train, train, train. And he and he's right. If you're going to show it off, then you better be about your business. And I just I just saw that and I wanted to do a quick video and uh, point it out that just because you got a sidearm, <clears throat> it don't make mean shit. There's plenty of people out there that can outshoot you, outshoot me. Uh, when I say Brick, uh, Brick is the, he's the owner of uh, Marksman Shooting Range in Crossville. And, uh, you know, he's retired Green Beret and I think DOE. And he, he's a former Fed. Don't hold that against him. He's a good guy. Uh, he trains all the time. And we joke back and forth, Sig or Glock or this or that, you know, but sitting there looking at that young man tonight, I thought, you know, he, he's going to, or he's going to walk in on something and not have any idea what's going on and somebody will kill him. A bad guy will kill him. So please, if you carry, have common sense. You know, uh, not everybody needs to, don't everybody needs to be in your business. And if you need that, if you need to carry a gun and show it to everybody to feel like a man, well, you're not a man. Uh, you know, to me, that's like driving the big truck with, with the nuts hanging off the back, you know, or the bumper. You want everybody to think you're, uh, you're the shit. And you're not. But uh, have common sense, please, God. Uh, you know, I, I, half the time I don't even have a knife in my pocket anymore. And uh, I'm not invincible. I'm not. I just, I'm, I don't know, I, I'm lazy. I've, I've gotten to the age and stage of my life where if the Lord's going to call me home, I'm I'm ready to go, uh, but don't go by me either. But please don't holster up and wear it so everybody can see it. I get it if you weigh 300 pounds. If you're a fat boy or a fat girl, it's not comfortable uh, wearing inside the waistband. It's not. I've been there. Um, buy a smaller pistol. And keep it in your pocket. Do something. But when you put it on your hip like that. You're inviting trouble. And trouble will find you. And trouble will punch your ticket. So unless you're just absolutely ready to go meet the Lord, don't do that. That is so dumb. Uh, I, I just can't stress that enough. There's been times where, you know, I knew if I... If somebody knew I was packing, they'd leave. I've, in the past, I've, you know, let them see the hand, uh, the grip or something, you know, and get them to move. Uh, but that's in a different situation. But if you're sitting in a restaurant and you've got your nine millimeter or 40 or whatever it is out so everybody can see it, <clears throat> only thing that tells me, <clears throat> more than likely, you're a fool. It's like a sucker punch. Pistol, you, you, you don't you don't want them to see it till it's too late, even if they see it. So don't be out brand, and it's not it's not illegal, uh, but it, you're brandishing. You're like, look at me, you know. <clears throat> and I started to say something to the young man, and I thought he ain't my son, and ain't none of my business. And uh, uh, the guy used to do videos. <clears throat> a long time ago, and he's been on my channel, Trevor Jonah. He's got a friend that would, he carried outside the waistband. And I saw him two, two or three different times. He was always outside the waistband. Same kind of holster. And I said, uh, can I show you something? And I said, this is none of my business. I said, but I want to share something with you. And he said, yeah. I said, I'm going to walk up behind you. I said, don't put your hand on your gun. And I stood there and talked to him a minute. I said, okay, turn around. He turned around. I had I had his firearm in my hand. He never felt me pull it out of the holster. 
I said, just think if I was a bad guy. He said, how long have you had it? I said, since you turned around, I pulled it right then. I said, you never knew I had your gun. I said, so somebody wanted to do you harm, they pull your gun and push you in the back. And when you turn around, or if I wouldn't even wait on you to turn around, they'd just shoot you. I said, please don't open carry. If you're out in the woods, you're on a trail, open carry, by all means, open carry. If you're out fishing, you're down on the lake or whatever, open carry. Uh, but if you're in town, uh, you don't want open carry. You don't want anybody to know what's going on. That's my two cents. That's about all my opinion is worth is two cents, just like y'all's. <clears throat> but please don't open carry. Uh, I joke all the time, and it's not a joke. It's the truth. I do this. Uh, at some point, I'll buy me a 1911. And to me, for the 1911 guys, I, you, you guys will understand what I'm going to say. Uh, to me, a 1911 is jewelry. That's all it is. To me, that's all it is because I don't carry 1911. But if I had a 1911, that'd be the, the gun I'd wear out on Friday night with some pretty girl with a fancy holster. I would. But to me, it's jewelry. Uh, but even the 1911 guys, as a rule, they don't open carry. <clears throat> guys that really know about firearms and know about tactics and we don't open carry we just don't so I mean y'all do what you want but I'm trying to give good advice uh, I don't want you to see it coming if I'm unfortunate enough to have to draw down on somebody if I'm unfortunate enough that I have to shoot somebody I don't want them to know I want it to be over with as quickly as as possible. I want to end it that fast. I want you to be talking to the Lord by the time you hit the ground. So that's only my opinion. Uh, do what y'all want, but uh, just be smart. Hey, folks, more videos coming soon. God willing, and the creek don't rise. That is my two cents. Please remember your glass is always half full and never half empty. You keep praying for me and I'll keep praying for y'all. Remember, keep your sidearm covered up. Love y'all.